Hey guys, an exciting episode today. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the House of Mali Stir It Up Wireless Turntable. Uh, House of Mali, for those that don't know, is a company built by the estate of the late uh, Bob Mali, uh, focusing on making uh, a lot of musical uh, related electronics. So headphones, earphones, turntables, speakers, Bluetooth speakers, that kind of stuff, but with a focus on sustainability, something that I'll get into uh, when we get into reviewing the product. Uh, this specific product is not available in the country yet, neither is most of the House of Mali stuff. They will be in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we were privileged enough to be sent uh, a piece to review. Uh, I've spent quite a bit of time with it. Uh, I think it's an excellent product. I think it's going to appeal to a lot of younger people uh, based on the feature set that it has. Uh, it's also priced really attractively, something that I'll share sort of towards the end of the video. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. So here you have it. Uh, this is the Stir It Up wireless turntable. As you can see, bamboo plinth, uh, fabric at the bottom, again, recycled, silicon slip mat with a aluminum platter. Uh, everything that you see is recycled to some extent or the other. Uh, so in the case of the fabric, it's up to 40% uh, recycled cotton, in some cases PET and obviously hemp. Uh, so for those who uh, uh, you know, understand the culture behind Bob Marley. Hemp is obviously going to be an important part uh, of the construction. Uh, a couple of finer details here. It's got the Bob Marley sort of colors uh, on the top of the toe now. Uh, a fully customizable counterweight, uh, which means you can mix and match cartridges to your heart's desire. Uh, in this particular case, it comes with an Audio Technica 3600 uh, cartridge, which is fairly popular. You see that on a lot of entry level turntables, uh, including the Denon DP29NF, the Marantz TT5005. Uh, and the Audio Technica LP60X. You also find them on the Rega Planner 1 as well as the Rega Planner 1 Plus. Uh, on the back side, uh, it's got the ability to obviously hook up by RCA uh, and a bypassable preamp. So you can either have the preamp set to on or off. Uh, the real game changer for this particular turntable, in my opinion, is the fact that it has Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth is a sort of big deal specifically for younger people. Uh, they don't want the hassle of wires, etc. Uh, you can pair this up with a wireless set of speakers, uh, so any kind of Bluetooth speaker that you have at home, or a set of wireless headphones. Uh, I think the headphones uh, is a great addition because if you live in an environment where you want to listen to music but don't necessarily want to sort of disturb someone else, uh, I think the wireless headphone option uh, will make a sort of a big difference, obviously. Uh, the other benefit is obviously the fact that it has the customizable counterweight. Uh, which means that, you know, six months, a year down the line, if you feel the itch uh, to make the turntable sound better, simply adding a new cartridge would likely add a completely new dimension to the overall turntable. Um, I think that the only potential drawback that I can see with this turntable is the fact that it doesn't come with any kind of cover, uh, which obviously living in a country like India can be a bit problematic. Uh, there are a couple of fairly straightforward solutions. One is obviously to just drape a piece of cloth over it, which I think should sort of uh, handle that fairly easily, or uh, fabricate a custom acrylic uh, dust cover, which should also not be a very big deal. Uh, overall, my understanding is that this is going to be priced at about 30K. And I think that at that price point, this is going to create massive waves in the market. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing the product launch just to see what the sort of feedback is. Uh, those are my initial impressions and uh, I'll get into the rest of it uh, in the conclusion. So my final thoughts. If you have less than 20 grand to spend, I'd still go in with the conventional, sort of the usual suspects, the Denon DP29NF, the Audio Technica LP60X or the Marantz TT5005. If you're looking for something slightly over that, if Bluetooth is a big deal, if the fact that you can mix and match cartridges is something that you're looking forward to, I think this is a no-brainer. Uh, based on the pricing, 30k, I think it's an absolute steal, considering that its closest competition is at 40 and 60k. Uh, I would look no further than this product. Um, we're going to be offering a pre-order very, very soon. Uh, you can find that link in the description below. Uh, I'm also curious to hear from people who potentially already own this product, because I do know that this is a fairly high selling product, both in America as well as Europe. Uh, so if you do own this, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, in addition, I'm just generally looking back for feedback. Uh, so if there's something that you have to say about my videos uh, or about stuff that I should be doing or not doing, I'd also love to hear about that. Uh, everything that we've spoken about, again, is available in the description below. Uh, and I hope to see you very, very soon on a new episode.